Though they are perhaps not as glamorous as medicines or vaccines, diagnostic tests play a central role in pandemic management. It's just really hard to do much of anything if you don't know who actually has the germ in question. And for COVID-19 specifically, researchers pulled out all the stops to design accurate tests. These tests have some drawbacks, though, like they require experienced personnel and results aren't exactly instant. So what if I told you that in the future, we could be diagnosing infections like COVID-19 in five minutes or less with a test people could give themselves. That's the hope of new research published in the journal ACS Nano. In a proof-of-concept paper, researchers detailed a different kind of test that can produce reliable COVID results in under five minutes. Now, step one of any COVID test is to get a sample from the patient. This often involves some of those long nasal swabs to grab some fluids or a vial of blood. After that, there are a couple main options, each with their own downsides. One approach is to test for antibodies. These are Y-shaped immune proteins that are specific to a particular or germ, so they can help stop infections in a targeted way. And since they are specific, they can also tell doctors what germs have recently attacked. The major downside here is that it can take days or even weeks for the body to start producing enough antibodies to be detected, so if the infection is still in the early stages, this kind of test is unreliable. Also, antibody testing requires blood samples, which must be collected by trained personnel. That's why many of the most commonly used tests screen for samples of the genetic code of the virus itself lurking in your bodily fluids. Like all coronaviruses, SARS-CoV-2 is an RNA virus, so these tests look for viral RNA. But the RNA molecules are too small to just see, and it's not like a person's bodily fluids are packed with them. So generally, to accurately detect an infection, you first have to make lots of copies of the viral RNA. And that process can take a while. Plus, it tends to require specialized equipment and chemicals and personnel. To solve these limitations, researchers behind the new paper turned to nanotechnology. Rather than relying on amplifying what's in the sample, they designed a small biosensor chip that can detect tiny amounts of SARS-CoV-2 RNA. The sensor consists of filter paper coated with graphene, a honeycomb-like lattice of carbon atoms that's super thin and very conductive. On top of this graphene layer are gold nanoparticles, which are also very conductive. And attached to those gold nanoparticles are specially designed strands of DNA. These snippets of DNA act as probes by specifically binding to parts of the virus's RNA genome. Specifically, chunks of a piece called the N gene, which codes for one of the virus's important structural proteins. In fact, the chip actually uses multiple DNA detector strands to target two different sections of that gene. And that means that even if the virus in the sample has a mutation on one part, it can still be detected. Anyhow, the binding of the viral RNA to these DNA probes creates a change in the electrical charge of the molecules. And since gold and graphene are both highly conductive, the electrical signal travels across the paper to a circuit to deliver it to a computer, which then and spits out a positive result. The team tested these sensor chips on 48 clinical samples, about half of which were known to be infected based on standard tests. Not only did the chip correctly distinguish between the infected and non-infected samples, on average, the results were delivered in under five minutes. That kind of turnaround is awesome for a bunch of reasons, like infected patients can start treatment sooner and negative patients aren't waiting around and worrying. The researchers claim the test is just as, if not more, sensitive than the ones currently being used. Plus, it could spot different amounts of the virus, what experts call the viral load, which is very useful for understanding infection dynamics. But what's really exciting news here is that this kind of test could change how we spot infections in general. For one thing, the materials needed are relatively inexpensive. The researchers suggest chips like this could be sold for about $10 each. They're also super portable and can be integrated with all kinds of computers, including smartphones. So they could be used in a doctor's office or at home. And in theory, scientists could design similar rapid testing chips for any virus, new or old. So not only could this be a new way of detecting COVID-19, it could lead to more rapid and accessible tests for all sorts of diseases, which would be a boon for patients, for doctors, and researchers alike. Though first, these sensors are gonna have to prove themselves to oversight agencies like the US FDA, which probably means in-depth testing and comparison to other tests on the market. And someone will have to figure out how to mass produce these chips, as well as the hardware and software needed to actually run the test. So I wouldn't expect these tests to be everywhere like 
tomorrow. Still, it is very cool to see technologies like this coming into their own, and I wouldn't be surprised if nanobiosensors soon become all the rage in medicine. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow News, and a special thank you to Matthew Brandt, our president of space. We here at SciShow salute you, Matthew, and we are truly grateful to have you as part of our awesome patron community. If you want to learn more about joining that community, including how you too could become a president of space, you can head on over to patreon.com slash scishow.